welcome to church today we are going to have an amazing time together learning about how special you are to god now say this after me i am chosen and i'm loved by god that's right one more time let's say it one more time i am chosen and loved by god good job sit back and relax as we continue to explore how you are beautifully and wonderfully made by god to do incredible things now if it's your first time here welcome on board i'm so glad to have you as part of our growing family <laughs> Hello, 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 how are you? Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm good. I'm great. I'm wonderful. If it's your birthday this week, it's time for you to stand and shout! Let's sing you a birthday song. a happy birthday and a very very joyful new year let us pray heads bowed and eyes closed heavenly father you are good you are kind we thank you for an amazing day to learn something important from your word we also thank you for those whose birthdays fell this week we ask that you bless them we ask that you cause your face to shine upon them Give them their testimony and make their dreams come true. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
guys, it's time for our verse of the month. I want you to go get your Bible right now for us to read along, okay? La, la, la. of the month is from Psalms chapter 139 verse 14. I hope you still remember. Good. It says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Let's take that again. Our verse of the month is from Psalms chapter 139 verse 14 and it says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Okay, guys so let's talk about what this memory verse actually means okay good did you know that you are super special this verse from the bible tells us that god made you in an amazing way so imagine for a second that god is the best artist ever who made you with so much care and love amazing right yes you have a unique body a special special mind and a big heart all put together in the most perfect way by God just like how every snowflake is different interesting right yes no matter how they are they are different you are one of a kind too so God made you just the way you are and that's important really incredible so whenever you feel unsure, remember that God made you amazing just the way you are. Now, for some fun fact. Did you know the Bible has two parts? It has the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament, though an old book, has 39 books, while the New Testament has 27 books. Together, these two parts make up 66 books of the Bible. This month, we will also focus on memorizing the books of the New Testament.
about what we learned last week. It's always important that we revise, okay? Good. So last week, we learned that God created everything in the world. But his most special creature was people who are made in his image and his likeness. Take for example, Adam, the first person who was created with a body, a soul and a spirit, showing how each of us is uniquely incredible and designed to connect with God. We are fearfully, wonderfully made and have been placed here on earth to show how amazing God is. We were created to love God, worship Him and be friends with Him. Now guys, I have an interesting game I want us to play together, okay? Good! So now, this game is called Choice Game. Now here is how it works. I'll give you two options and then you have to pick your favorite by raising your hand, okay? So, for example, you raise your left hand if you choose jello fries, okay? <laughs> and your right hand for fried rice. How many of you like either? <laughs> I like jello fries more, but I'm sure you like fried rice. That's okay. All right. Okay, guys. So you raise your left hand for M&Ms if you like it. Good. And now if you like Skittles, raise your right hand. Great. If you like hot weather, raise your left hand all right if you like the cold weather raise your right hand if you would like to have superpowers to fly raise your left hand if you would like to have superpowers to run so fast raise your right hand now to the final one if you love to live your life to the fullest Raise your right hand! Yay! Good job! So whether you picked M&M or Skittles or whether you picked the options on your left or on your right, there are actually no wrong answers. It's more about what we like best, okay? But here's something important. When it comes to really big choices, especially about life and death, you should always choose life. And choosing life means choosing to follow God. Have you ever had the chance to pick out your favorite toy? Or maybe you got to choose your favorite game to play. Now tell me, what made you choose it? Just like you pick your favorite toys or game because you love it, God wants you to choose him as your best friend. He wants to be a part of your life every day. Now, in today's story, we'll learn about how God chose David to be his very special friend. Okay, guys, so I still have my Bible. I hope you still do. Now we are going to open to 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1. And then we're going to read 6, 7, and then again 10 and to 12. Okay, so let's say we start with the International Children's Bible. So the Lord said to Samuel, how long will you continue to feel sorry for Saul? I have rejected him as king of Israel. Fill your container with olive oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse who lives in Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be king. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab. Samuel thought, surely the Lord has appointed this person standing here before me. But the Lord said to Samuel, Don't look at how handsome Eliab is. Don't look at how tall he is. I have not chosen him. God does not see the same way we see. People look at people from the outside, you know, but the Lord looks at the heart. Now, Jesse, the scripture said, had seven of his sons pass by Samuel. But Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen any of these people. Hmm. And then he asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? 
Jesse answered, Well, I still have a younger son somewhere. He is out there taking care of the sheep. Samuel said, Send for him. We will not sit down to eat until he arrives. So Jesse sent and had his younger son brought in. He was a fine lad, tanned and handsome. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Go, appoint him. He is the one. The people of Israel at that time had wanted a king other than God. So God gave them what they wanted, a tall, handsome king named Saul. Now, this is King Saul of the Old Testament, okay? Not of the Saul of the New Testament that you've read, you know, who now became Paul, remember? Good. So King Saul, however, did not love God with all his heart. He became so proud and his heart became very hard. So, to replace King Saul, God chose a king based on what he thought was important. Not how the man looked or acted, but based on the man's heart. God surprised everyone and actually chose David. A young boy like you, yes. And when God sent Samuel to Jesse's house to appoint the new king, David, he was out there in the fields taking care of his father's sheep. David was the youngest of eight sons of Jesse and was probably around 12 to 15 years old when God had chosen him. God didn't pick David because of his age, remember? No, he didn't. But he looked at him. Mm, instead, God cared about David's heart and how much David loved God and wanted to do what was right. Now, in Acts chapter 13, verse 22, a certain verse in the New Testament of the Bible, it talks about David's heart. And that scripture said, But God removed Saul and replaced him with David, a man about whom God said, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Now, it's important that we understand what is going on here. If you open your Bible to the middle, you'll find the book of Psalms, many of which were written by David. He wrote these songs while taking care of sheep as a young boy, spending time alone with God. Just like David chose to follow God, you too must choose to follow God. David also played the harp, which helped King Saul feel better when he was sick. David even became friends with Saul's son and learned a lot about being a king. God can use your talents and your abilities right now, just like he used David's. David was also an important part of Jesus' family. He was actually, actually, he was Jesus' 23rd grandfather. Whoa! Aha, uh -huh, I bet you didn't know that. Well, yes, he was. Even though David was just a young boy at the time, God saw him as special. And God thinks of you as special too. So ask God, how can I use the talents and abilities you have given me to serve you in incredible ways? Even the ability to smile, like I'm smiling now at you, <laughs> at someone, or speak a kind word, it makes you incredible. So whether you're four, seven, or any age, always remember that you have been chosen by God to do incredible things. God has chosen each one of us, me, you, your daddy, your mommy, your sisters, everyone, your friends. He created us and loves us. But sometimes, Mm. In us, we can separate from him and his love because of something called sin. Sin is anything against God. God sent his son Jesus to show us how much he loves us and to save us from our sins. If you've never given your heart to Jesus, this is a good time. What are you waiting for? Now, I want you to join me in asking Jesus to be your savior. Ask him to be your Lord by saying this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, 
Thank you for loving me enough to die for my sins. I believe that you are the Son of God who died for my sins and rose again to lead me into eternal life. I accept you into my heart as my Savior and my Lord. I am born again and I am a child of God. Amen. Congratulations. Super, super, duper happy for you. Okay, guys. So let's go over what we learned today. Okay. So we learned that God chose David as future king to replace King Saul. David wasn't chosen because of what he looked like or even his age, but because of his heart for God. We also learned that God did not only choose David, but David also chose God. Even though David was a young man at the time, we learned that God saw him as special. And God thinks of you as special too. Great! Now, we also learned that God can use your talents and abilities right now, like right now, to be incredible for him. Now guys, this is one of my favorite times of our teaching, okay? It's called the challenge for the week. And I want you to do something very special for me, all right? So let's say it's be incredible week, all right? Good. So each day this week, for example, choose to do something incredible for God. Here are some ideas I have in mind. One, help with, you know, extra chores at home for your mom or your dad, even for yourself, okay? Help someone in need. So as you go out or you're at home, somebody has a need, please do help, all right? Share a smile with someone. So if someone is gloomy, sad, not talking much, share a smile with them, all right? Good. The next is you can also share your snack or your toys, okay? Good. Do something kind and loving is right inside you just like david did choose to do everything that god wants you to do now guys let us pray dear heavenly father thank you for showing me your love through your son jesus christ Thank you for choosing me and making me special. Help me to remember the story of David and how you prepared him to be incredible. Help me to follow and love you with all my heart like David's. I love you in Jesus' name. Amen. So people have written to us that these teachings have been a blessing to them and they would like to give an offering. The different ways by which you can do this are now displayed on the screen. Thank you so much. God bless. I'm sure this is your favorite time of the teaching. Pop quiz! Are you ready? Set! Let's go! What's the name of the first king of Israel that was proud and did not love God? A. Solomon B. David C. Saul D. Josiah C is correct, Saul. The first king of Israel that was proud and did not love God was Saul. 
Where was David when Samuel came to Jesse's house? A. He was walking in the garden. B. He was taking care of the sheep. C. He was sleeping. D. He was eating. And the answer is B. When Samuel came to Jesse's house, David was taking care of the sheep. God chose Jesse's oldest son to be king. Is that true or false? That's false. God chose Jesse's youngest son, David, to be king. What did God look at when he chose the new king? A. The clothes. B. The heart. C. The family. D. The outward appearance. The answer is B. Good job. The heart. God looked at the heart when he chose the new king. God cannot show you how he can use you in incredible ways because you are too young. Is this true or false? It's certainly false. God can show you how he can use you in incredible ways, believe me, even when you are young. What was the name of David's father? A. Jesse B. Eli C. Saul D. Moses And the answer is A. Jesse The name of David's father was Jesse God can use your talents and abilities to make you incredible for him. Is this true or false? The answer is true. Good! God can use your talents and abilities to make you incredible for him. Who gave David the strength to be a good king? A. His brothers B. His father C. God D. Goliath And the answer is C. God did. God gave David the strength to be a good king. We are Dash and God desires for us to choose him. A. Stopped B. Taught C. Opened D. Chosen Good! The answer is D. Chosen We are chosen and God desires for us to choose Him. What can we learn from today's Bible teaching? A. God looks at our clothes B. God cares about how much money we have. <laughs> C. God chooses us based on our heart. D. God only loves strong people. And the answer is C. From today's Bible lesson, we can learn that God chooses us based on our heart. Now, keep in mind that you can watch all these teachings over and over again by just visiting our YouTube channel. Okay? Good. Until I see you again, remember that just like David chose to follow God, you can choose to follow God too and let him use you to do incredible things. I love you and God loves you more. Bye-bye.